Owning a home is one thing while renting is another, but whatever option you choose, it isn't pretty these days. Renters now facing record high rates and looking for any sign of relief. CTV's Allison Hurst reports. Ilham Jawaji moved into her King West apartment with her roommate almost two years ago, but is now facing a rent hike. It was 3300 for a two bed, two bath, which was great because I got a COVID deal, um, but they've just raised it by, yeah, about $300 every month. It comes as Canada hits a record high average asking price for rental properties. It's a lot, yeah, and the rent was being outbid by other people, so we actually had to come in over what the asking price was for rent. <laughs> According to Rentals.ca, in Canada, the asking rent has gone up almost 2% monthly, which is just under 10% per year to reach $2,117 in August. We have such a supply and demand issue that it's almost unfathomable to think when we'll be able to get out of this. Toronto ranked second most expensive on the Rentals.ca list, with an average ask for more than $2,600 for a one-bedroom. It was only beaten by Vancouver, asking almost $3,000. North York, Etobicoke and Scarborough were also among the top 10 most expensive areas in Canada. But until the supply and demand issues really change, until we get that mass purpose-built rentals coming to market, it's not going to change that much. It just won't. The data is based on newly available rentals on the market. It's what Serena Brooker sees when she considers whether it would be more affordable to move out of her rental. It's already hard to like afford before, but now it's just even more difficult. It's a lot more strain. Inflation and mostly like rental prices and everything, that's really killing people's uh, you know, ability to spend money on anything other than rent. Thinking back to what I paid years ago and compare, compare that to today, I just, it's, it's crazy. I don't know how people afford it, uh, particularly younger people. Jawaji says it's happening at a bad time with high inflation rates making everything more expensive. I'm very good at not eating out and my grocery, weekly grocery shop for every week is just skyrocketed. So that also doesn't help the situation with my budgeting. A financial reality squeezing everyone, renters and owners alike. Allison Hurst, CTV News.